Hey guys, I just got in uh, a, a car harness back from uh, another racer. He had uh, he sent it in, I repaired it, I sent it back, and this brought up a problem that I'm running into a bit, and so I'm going to show you real close and thought I would shoot a video of this. So, the deal is, this is a common UV5R. I, I tell guys this is a good radio, buy this radio. Now it's interesting because this is the radio the guy sent back to me and he sent me a video and it wasn't just working and I didn't catch it in the video. This is, looks like a UV5R, they're not the same. This radio has a faceplate on it, has all these little torque screws. This is a UV, this is a BF F8HP. Now when I, when it first showed up and it came with this, in this box I went, oh, Hey, and I told the guy, if it's got a faceplate, it's probably not going to work. Now, maybe they swapped their radios and they didn't notice the difference, but this does happen, and I want to kind of show you what what happens, and I'll also show you, like, this is, um, I took the antenna off of this radio because you're not supposed to use them without them, but this is the, um, I think it's a UV8, and I liked these because it was a dual-button PTT, problem with this radio that I can't seem to keep in frame with myself is um, as much as I like it the dual the dual function PTT I've decided is more of a liability than an asset so even though we have these and use these sometimes we uh, I program both both sides to the same frequency we do the same thing with the UV5R so anyway, uh, in addition to that, my very first set of bench radios that use a Kenwood plug. Why can't I figure this out? I can't get myself and the damn radio in frame. I'm not good at this. We need to move this way. Hey, there you go. Um, this is an Olympia. And I'll show you once we get a close-up on the bench. So we're kind of trying some new contraptions out. I got a new camera mount. I tried plugging it into my monitor. had feedback, but... Whatever. I'll show you down here up close what's going on. Uh, and it's just differences in the radio cases make a difference. And it's minor, but it's causing some problems. So let's zoom in on the bench and see what happens. Channel mode. Channel mode. This one doesn't talk to me. So, if I take, this is a UV5R. Well, let's just show you. This is a radio they sent in. It's a BF, BF F8HP. So, when I plug it in, it's not keying the radio. And, and they sent me that, and they're showing me, yep, doesn't key the radio. Now, I might be able to get it rammed in there. But it's hard to get these plugged in all the way to begin with. Not not key in the radio. So if you look really close, see if I can get this zoomed in. Um, and the camera can't even focus that very well that close. But it's essentially touching right there. Uh, and, and that little bit of touching, just somehow, it's just not seating the pins all the way. And... The radio is not keying up. And you can see more closely, it's got these little torque screws. So this doesn't have a metal, what I would say a metal faceplate. This may be painted black, but any of the radios with these little faceplates have this interference problem. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. I just put away my pointy device. So, and you can see it, it's just, it's bumping down here. So it doesn't just work. Now, I can change this to a different wire, um, and it'll clear, or you can shave some off. But um, when I plug into the UV5R, and it's still tight, it keys up. So, we're having a case interference problem. Now, even on the UV5R, this thing's a pain. Like, this thing does not want to just come out. I come over here to this Olympia, thing just slides right in. Boom. Keys up. Does what it's supposed to. 
Now, I'm telling you this, and on the Kenwoods, you can key the radio without having a headset plugged in. If you're using my Motorola, you got to have a headset plugged in. It's just the way the radios work. Um, so, ultimately, you know, I'm plugged this in, and I'm going to end up uh, changing this cord. Or, you know, really what I usually just tell guys just make sure you got a UV5R in the car, um, and you can buy the high-powered version where it doesn't have a faceplate. It's 8 watts, but ultimately, the faceplate, anything with a faceplate is not going to work with this plug. Uh, I don't really want to molest, you know, I don't want to shave the plug down. Uh, these things are 25 bucks. I mean, it's you actually pay extra for this one, but it's not so much that it's the faceplate. The uh, the 8 HP is going to indicate that it's an 8 watt radio, and you can still get 8 watts without the face plate. And you know, but it's it's an easy thing to mess up. Uh, this is sold as a B Tech, I believe. Let's see if um, what it says underneath the battery pack. Well, it does. Uh, it does say it's a Baofeng, and. But the model is a BF at, I don't know if I can get in there to see that. Let's see if it'll focus. And the model's going to be right there. It says it's a BF F8HP, but it does say it's a Baofeng and not a BTEC. Uh, BTEC is the U.S. seller of Baofengs on uh, Amazon. Uh, well, they are the U.S. seller, and they are on Amazon. An interesting thing, too, uh, if you look, I'd, I'd say this is a high-capacity battery of some form. It's fatter than this one. Uh, I don't have any of my other radios in here right now. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, get up, get up, get up. So here is a UV5R8W. And I like this one. It's got a uh, high, real high capacity battery here. And uh, it also has this little charge port on it. So we've been plugging that in to USB power versus using a battery eliminator. I like this arrangement. We're bad about leaving the radio on, not actually charging the battery. And it's not so big of a deal on a race weekend. We usually show up and charge the radio or put in a good battery but after race we, you know, we forget to turn the radio off and then the car's got a dead battery and we show up to a practice day but this is an 8 watt no face plate and it's got the big big battery i like this arrangement now, there you go i gotta i gotta either replace this wire or say to the dude hey get a non-face plate model i'm gonna leave it give them the option and uh I may change the cord anyway. I, I think I've got some cords that'll solve his problem still. And that's it.